the Bob Mills Weather Center. Meteorologist Aaron Reeves. Well, we only got one planet, and if we mess it up, I don't know where else we'd go, right? All right, 86 right now in Tulsa, 77 in Dallas. Lots of warmth here over the, uh, the really the entirety of the plains over in the Mississippi River Valley. Of course, Phoenix is hot, but I mean, it's Phoenix, right? As uh, so we take a look at the big picture of uh, rain and where that's located, not much impactful weather going on. For the most part, quiet. We have some rain up in uh, Maine. A little bit of activity over the high plains that'll enhance the day with the daytime heating, but all in all, pretty quiet. As we take a closer inspection of the state, you can see once again, pretty quiet. Not much going on yet. We could see a couple of thunderstorms bubble up later, only around a 10 to 20% chance of that happening at any one spot. So they will be few and far between, but the main threats if they get going will be lightning, quick downpour, or maybe some gusty winds as they collapse. That would be about the gist of those. And those will be basically day in, day out during the afternoon hours until the weekend. As we head toward the weekend, we might be able to get a couple of boundaries in here that give us a little bit more in the way of maybe some organization uh, to give us a little more widespread activity. But in the meantime, just kind of rinse and repeat through about Thursday. Rainfall totals over the next seven days, uh, anywhere from a half an inch to maybe locally around an inch, especially as we, this would mainly be toward the weekend when most of this would occur. So that's kind of what we're looking at for now. Uh, in the meantime, sunny, a few bubbly clouds out there. We have a spider web here and uh, the spider successfully caught some kind of bug there. So not a good day for that bug, but it's a good day to be out and about. 86. Southeast wind at three, so not much wind. Uh, dew point at 64, so it is a little on the stuffy side. So we take a look at the temperatures. We're looking at 78 out in Gage. Guyman, you're still at 69. Uh, in our neck of the woods, we're talking about temperatures mainly in the 80s. 86 Coffeeville and Deering, it's 83 in Poto, 86 once again in Tulsa, Muskogee at 88, and we saw just a bit ago Tahlequah was actually already 90. We should head up to around 90 today. We'll see those, once again, widely scattered to isolated showers or rumbles of thunder bubble up with the heating of day. Those would fall apart as the sun sets, dropping down into the 60s to start off tomorrow, so a lot like this morning, and then... A lot like today and a lot like yesterday, we'll see that chance of isolated showers and storms. Highs near 90 as we head on into Tuesday. We go into Wednesday, pretty much the same boat. I mean, not a whole lot of change in our forecast. This is kind of e kind of an easy pattern for right now uh, for us. But once again, toward the weekend, we could get those uh, rain and thunderstorm chances ramp up for us just a little bit. Temperatures as we get more clouds and rain in here over toward the weekend, uh, that'll help to keep us just a wee bit cooler. Still in the 80s, but not 90 at least the way things look. So your seven day forecast looks like this. We're talking about a 10% or so chance of an isolated, the widely scattered shower storm for the next three to four days. Overnight lows will be in the 60s. Highs are going to be right around that 90 degree mark. Then the changes start to arrive Thursday. Thursday, it looks like we could get a little bit of a front, try to back in here. That could enhance our rain chances Thursday. And then We'll see more unsettled weather as we head through the weekend with a couple of boundaries that could kind of be in place. And when we get more clouds and more rain in position, that will kind of help to work to keep our, our temperatures at least a little bit more in check. We should be in the 80s this time of year, so nothing really out of the normal here. But hey, if we can get it to be a couple of degrees cooler and we can get a little rain, which some of us are starting to need on the eastern side of the state, I think we can deal with that. That is a look at forecast. Now I'm going to send it back to you all.